Here we are again, boys and girls. And a warm welcome to one and all. For those of you who have not been here before, and you're very tired, scruffy trader. Currently it is coming up six o'clock. I'll switch the screens on as we are here. And looking at this, it looks about ready to pop. I'm gonna drop a quick order in. Uh, we currently at 87p and just drop that on there. There we go. Right. We're in six o'clock. Now it's quite sharp this morning. And when I talk about 87p, some of you have not seen this might be a little bit confused. It just so happens that as I was switching on, it was ready to go. So I thought I would um, fire an order in. What I'm doing is what's called morning star. And it is working between 6 a.m. in the morning and eight o'clock in the morning to effectively build up a small account. Now we started this with 350 last month. We did draw some money out of it. And then this month we're starting with a bigger balance, which I'll just quickly show you. Uh, where are we at? That's it. Da, 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 da. Which is here. There we go. Now, what I'm aiming to do with this is double the initial stake. Now, if I go out to the summary, you'll see um, we are just trundling along. Now, you might get a little bit confused because this is a new sheet that I started going April to April, whereas the last one was from March. Um, and why did I do that? Because I was only going to originally do this for a month and then I was requested to carry it on. So April's a new tax year, April to April. Start at 350. The aim is roughly about 1% per day as an overall target. But anything more is better. And for the next two months, all I've got to do is this. So it's ticking along quite nice. And at the minute, 7% growth. I can live with that. There isn't a bank in the land that would give you that. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to let this run out because this is a vlog of really the results rather than strategy or anything like that, just to show that it can be done. And the idea is to grow up by 10 pips each day, 50 a week, 200 a month. But what I'll do is I'll let this run out. I'm going to have my coffee because uh, I think I need it to get my little head working this morning fully and then I'll come back to you when I'm done.
Okay, boys and girls, just clipped out. How have we done? Well, did more than our 10 pips. So, as a happy boy, are you a happy girl? Mm -hmm. Hey, why is that? Well, we're on holiday. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know something? This year's costing a fortune. Every week, I say to her, what do you want to do? I want to go away. So every week we seem to be in a hotel. Now she's decided we haven't to get on an aeroplane. Are you serious? Please help me, boys and girls. Please make a stop. I don't think me heart can take any more nights in a hotel. Okay. Well, the mind's an amazing organ. I've got an amazing organ. It's capable of far more than you'd imagine. Right again. She's a sex crazed maniac. And if we go on holiday and you've got sun, sand and lots of beer, I might make it. What, what do you say to that? I'm sure you will. We'll put it to the test. <laughs> See what I mean? She's, she's at it again. She's at it again. Sorry. Right, let's have a look. See what we're doing. Okay. So, looking at this, it was targeted appropriately because you can see a hammer coming in and it is pushing down. Why? Because up here was telling me that this was probably going to happen and sure enough it is. So got out just in time. Let's see what it's done to the scores on the doors. And we'll talk through this a little bit. Okay. So what did I say that was? That was 974. 974. Okay. So we've got 11 pips today. It's taken a little bit of time to get there. The reason I didn't tinker with it is because is once it goes past 8 o'clock, I'm assuming you're going to work and it's a case of uh, just kind of let it get on with it to a degree. Um, you can sort of adjust your targets if you're at work because you can quickly sort of move it up and down, but you can't really trade. So that, that's all I'll ever do. So at the moment, this month is doing quite well. We are... 10% up from the start of the month. That is fantastic. We are 100% hit rate. That is fantastic. But don't be dazzled by that. Win rate is... I do like to keep it high and I don't trade willy-nilly and I am very patient in what I'm doing. But sometimes if it goes wrong, you have to be able to recognise that and kill it. No point being a hero, you know. Everything you do, and if you see my notes, it's always protect, protect, because that's all I'm doing at the moment. I am protecting the account all the time, but gradually moving it up. And the idea with these sort of trades is, as you can see, it's moving nicely. But the idea is steady growth, not hero growth. If you swing at it all the time, Basically, you're going to come a cropper. And that's where a lot of traders fail. They over trade. You know, in the live stream yesterday when we were talking, I was talking about value points and mindset. And that was exactly what I was talking, like driving at. Don't over trade. Wait for your trade to come to you. And that way, you, in a sense, control it. But if you chase the market, the market's controlling you and you want to be in charge. But you've got to sort of also remember you'll never be better than the market. So you get in and you get out. And that's what day trading is. It's just grinding away. Get in, get out, get paid. And when you've got enough for what you believe is correct for the day, just stop. Do it again tomorrow because that's what we're here for we're here to extract money not trade and that's something you're sort of finding hard at the moment it is because she wants to trade all the time she thinks right i'm here that should have a trade running and what she found well we discussed it on saturday but what happened the last time you just dove in? I lost a lot of money. <laughs> you lost a lot of money. What happened that I was doing exactly the same thing sitting next to you? Yeah, but you know how to manage it out, don't you? 
Well, you should be learning then, shouldn't you? Instead of sort of thinking, oh, let's go to bed. Let's go on holiday. Dirty cow. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> See, she's letting things cloud our judgment. It's not good. It's not good at all. Well, actually, it is good. It's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you see, you youngsters that watch all of this think you know it all. Trust us, us old ones know how to have fun a lot more than what you lot do. Ah. Well, we do anyway. Um, anyway, I'll leave you with that horrendous thought inside of you. You're sitting there imagining that with a big smile on your face, you dirty fecker. I'm going to disappear off and do this all again tomorrow so as always trade well keep your risk managed but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all the next one